I'm Randy and I make candy and tonight I'm making Milky Way bars. Stick around. <music> Greetings my confectionery compadres and welcome to Randy Makes Candy where I help you make tasty treats that people love to eat. Well, we're taking on another commercial candy bar. I'm basing tonight's treat on a recipe I found at the Just a Pinch website. I'll link to it in the description. I'll admit to not being a huge fan of the Milky Way bar, which interestingly enough is called a Mars bar, pretty much everywhere else on the planet. But I have to imagine that some of you compadres out there are Milky Way fans, and I feel like I owe it to you for your support. Not only that, but maybe a homemade version will taste better than store-bought. So let's do this. As always, I'd love to hear about your results if you decide to make your own Milky Way bars, as well as suggestions for other recipes you'd like to see in future videos. And stick around after the recipe for some Milky Way history, including the fact that it's probably not named after what you think it is. For this recipe, I used one cup of semi-sweet chocolate, two tablespoons of vanilla malted milk powder, one and a half cups of Cool Whip, three quarters of a cup of sweetened condensed milk, one quarter cup of butter, 15 caramels, and one and a half cups of milk chocolate. I'm also using a couple of bowls, an electric mixer, a six by six pan, some parchment, a spatula, a saucepan, some jars, a cutting board, and a couple of precision dipping tools. Okay, let's make some candy. Line the pan with parchment and set it aside. In a medium microwave safe bowl, melt the semi-sweet chocolate for 30 seconds and give it a stir. Repeat until the chocolate is completely melted and smooth. Be careful if you use a glass bowl, like I'm using here. The glass retains heat and will scorch the chocolate if you're not careful. If the bowl's too hot to hold, it's too hot for your chocolate. The heat from the bowl will melt the chocolate just as much as the microwave will, so take your time when stirring. Add the malted milk powder to the melted chocolate and mix on low to medium until combined, then on high for about 30 seconds. Add the Cool Whip to the chocolate mixture and beat for about a minute until it's well combined and fluffy. Spread the nougat into the prepared pan. Put it in the freezer for about an hour. In a medium saucepan over medium heat, add the sweetened condensed milk and butter. Mm -hmm. 
Stir until the butter is melted. Then add the caramels and turn the heat to medium low. Stir this continuously so the caramels don't burn. When the caramels are fully melted, pour the mixture into some jars. Let the caramel cool slightly, then spread some on top of the nougat layer. Return it to the freezer for another hour until the caramel is firm, but not hard. Cut the candy into bars or squares and place them on a lined cutting board. Melt or temper the milk chocolate, then dip a bar into the chocolate, let it drain, then return it to the lined cutting board. Repeat with the remaining bars, then leave them on the counter to set. And that's it! Okay, let's have a taste. Slancheva! Wow! I am really glad I decided to make these. They taste so much better than the store-bought version I remember. The semi-sweet and milk chocolates combine with the caramel and malted milk to create a really unique flavor combination. It's absolutely delightful and just delicious. Having said that though, I'm going to make a slight change to the recipe that you'll see down in the description and at randymakescandy.com. While the flavor is great, the nougat is very loose and sticky and hard to work with. It's not quite a ganache, but it's close. If I make this again, I'm going to add about a quarter cup each of semi-sweet and milk chocolate to the nougat. That should firm it up enough to make it a little less problematic. Don't get me wrong, the final result is awesome, but the process was a bit of a struggle. And we don't like to struggle here in the candy kitchen. Regardless though, if you want a treat that's out of this world, you really ought to try these. The Milky Way bar was created in the year 1927 and, according to the Snack History website, was not named after the celestial feature that most of us thought it was. It was actually named after the malted milkshakes that were popular at the time, which were called, you guessed it, Milky Ways. Back then, malted milk was actually sold as baby formula and considered a health food. Ads for the Milky Way candy bar capitalized on this and marketed it as a healthy meal replacement option. Once the FTC got wind of these ads, they stepped in and told Mars Incorporated to ease up on the health food claims. Finally, speaking of ads for the Milky Way bar, I came across one that I just had to share with you. There's a link in the description, and it stars an actor that I think many of you will recognize. If you enjoyed your time here in the Candy Kitchen, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for sticking around, and I hope you'll join me next time. Don't get me wrong, the final does... <sighs> The semi-sweet milk chocolates combine with the carol and malt... Carol? Who's Carol? <laughs> carol. I don't know. <laughs>